Located at 1711 South Locust Street, Snap Fitness is your go-to gym for everyone from athletes to the casual exerciser. Featuring mini cardio machines, free weights, and weight machines, Snap Fitness is your one stop for a healthier lifestyle. Welcome to In the Hoop. I'm George A.U. with the bad voice, Bobby Mills. Nonetheless, son, I'm good. Yard guy Zach Mayhew behind the camera. We're going to talk some state tournament basketball. The girls are ready to uh, head to Lincoln. Tip gonna, it up Thursday. Tip it up on Thursday, and then the uh, following week we're going to have the boys. We'll start off with the girls. So time for our it's time for our picks. Boy, I yeah, I might not do too well here. You, Ooh, killed, you killed me in football. Well, who, that's all right though. You might have studied the girls. Yeah, we're going to we're going to start. Class D2. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I got my picks over here. Who do you like? Well, I don't know. I haven't looked Bobby's at Bobby's the green and I'm the, I'm the I, yellow. Oh, and my favorite color is green. And so you can, it will show up well. well I'll start. I'll start. I'm taking, uh, I'm taking why not? They, well, yeah, as and Steve Weasler has those good boys. They've been there before, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, And I, who's on the top of the bracket? Is it uh, that bra is Sandy Ells is on the top of that. Okay. Sacred Hearts is one seed. Yeah, that that. Uh, wow. Sacred Hearts played a tough schedule. Oh, you know, gosh, I mean, really, yeah. they are the odds-on favorite. But I like why not? Why I think why not? Wynos, I'll take Sacred Hearts. But okay. Wynos has been there, and he's a great coach, man. Yeah. Great player, great coach. But when you get down to Fall City, Sacred Heart, you know those. It's they. Mm -hmm. uh, Bobby takes Sacred Heart. Yeah, what out. the heck? Should be a fun one. It should be. I'll take. Yeah. yeah I got Geltner as my sleeper. But the, absolutely, they're you those know, three tall girls are yeah. tough to. That's tough to. Good athletes. And, is yeah. Hampton in that class, or, or are they in the? Yeah, yeah. they're yeah, the seven seed. I think that's great that they made it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's got a nice. Former drum student on that team, and I think Mike Hersberg's wife's the superintendent over there, and they've got a nice ball club. I'm glad to see him go down. You know. All right, D1. D1. And that, you know. I'm really going out of the I'm taking Emerson, Emerson Hubbard. They're tough, looked at their schedule. They're tough girls yeah, up yeah. there. They looked at their schedule, and uh, I like I like what they've done. And, uh, you know, I like their side of the bracket, too. They did get a good draw on that yeah. side. Now, St. Mary's is the one, uh, you know, well, and, and the favorites to repeat, you know, yeah. volleyball and basketball. They do have the girls, and of course they lot. Yeah, I just I hope they do well. I'll take St. Mary's, but okay. they I, I don't I don't think St. Mary's and Emerson Hubbard have played, have they? Uh -huh. Yeah, they're they're quite a ways wait, away. Wait, they are on the northern part of the state. But Actually, not, I think I think St. Mary's did beat them. They might have, Early yeah. On. And don't Fuller, forget our friends from Fuller. Fuller there. my dark horse here. Yeah, yeah. Yep, they and they I think they got a good draw. Uh, Blue Hills girls are tough, but I think Fullerton had a pretty good draw. Right. Of course, they're going to have to run into. You know who they are. And, and, and you know, you've got undefeated uh, Dundee County Stratton in there, 26 and 0. Oh, I forgot as, about as a two seat. Oh, you my. can change it. No, I'll, uh, I'll I'll stick with that, but boy, there's that. Those That's girls. Team, yeah. They've got that bullseye in their gym, and you know, there's, yeah. ooh, everybody's looking at them. That should be a great class, George. Oh, yeah. Jeez. I'm going chalk here. Croft and C2. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid they're... We're both there. Uh, we uh, yeah, I'm afraid that's just... I'll pick somebody else. But they're uh, awful tough. Take. And um, there are some good teams in there, too. But then you, of course, have Croft. And then St. Cecilia has a good team. I yeah, I mean, I, I wrote St. Cecilia. I mean, they're not a dark horse. They're the number two seed. But Yeah. Uh, but they 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 have to know that Croft is standing in the way. Right. And they're just so good. Crofton wow. has Ponky. I think this would be the third or fourth time they played them this year. Yeah, I think it's, the, yeah, and they've been beaten. Yeah. Crofton, of course, 26-0. and 0. They come in undefeated, oh, one of the man. few undefeated teams in the state tournament of play. But, you know, it is unfortunate when you play a team a lot and then all of a sudden you got to <laughs> play them right away. <laughs> I know. And it's just, and it's not like Freeman, who was probably going to draw, um, uh, Bergen again at state in boys basketball. This was lopsided, yeah. and you got to feel bad for Ponka, you know. But you can't go in thinking you're going to lose. You got sure. to win them all. They're the Davids. C1 uh, top seed here <laughs> is uh, Lincoln Christian. That's a good team. Oh man, but that's a, another great class. Pierce is yeah. coming back to make it. Try to make yeah, a run Pierce at it. Yeah, Pierce is doing well. I'm taking the Carney Catholic. Oh, that's a good basketball team. Wow. See if they can uh, see if they can uh, double up volleyball basketball. My dark horse here is Minden. 
Absolutely, and I, I hate to. I'm going to take Lincoln Christian. Don't they have? This is going to sound crazy, but I think they had three Division One players on that team, don't they? And they start three ninth graders. Yeah. But boy, Carney, I like Rick Petrie. He's one of my favorite coaches. Even his the blast girl off the bench knows what to do. Yeah, for Christian's, that much. Christian's good. We saw them uh, in volleyball. Yeah, and oh, did, did, yeah, yeah, I bet they're really good. Nick Ardoon yeah. is a good basketball yeah, coach and, too. Uh, <clears throat> they're. Uh, I bet very athletic, athletic. Very oh, athletic, boy. yeah. They know how to play there. Yeah. All right, Class B, the Northwest Vikings are not going to defend their... No, they're not. ...their championship here. This is a tough one for me. I went, I went chalk. I went pious, the number one seed. Oh, boy, they looked last, good last year when I was there, and they've got the, you know, the Nebraska recruit, and that girl is a good ball player. Yeah, they played a really tough schedule. Oh, yeah, boy. You know, I, I like them. I like him. I'm pretty sure they played Lincoln Christian, but I don't remember the score. Those two teams play yeah. once a year. You want them too? Yeah, I'll take it. That's it's hard to pick against the Bolts for girls yeah. basketball. Okay, York is my dark horse only because we've seen him play. I sure like that yeah. team. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, yeah we ha and I like that basketball. Yeah, you, you, York has a three seed. They're on the other side of the bracket with Norris. Well, oh, Norris is good. Norris is good. Guarantee yeah. You, yeah. you know, uh, Hastings. Uh, I we talked last week. You know. They're really playing bad, really good basketball right yeah, now. Yeah, Greg Mays really has done a terrific job with that and team. Congratulations, isn't? they're going to get to state. Yeah. And, uh, we had that game at Senior High, Zach and I did. And they had to look pretty good, they didn't did. they? They're improving at yes. the right time yeah. of year and just they're down there. Good deal. All right, I'm going with the favorite here, too, Benson. Isn't Benson tough? Yeah, even without their star. Yeah, I know. Um, who's on the bottom? Is Bellevue West? Are North they East. in it? North, uh, Northeast is pretty good. And Carney, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid, yeah, I'm gonna have, to, yeah, I'm afraid I did, that's, yeah. Where's my sleeper? South Sioux City, just because of tradition. Well, that's good, that's a good pick, yeah, yeah. for tradition. Yeah, they're back, you know, South Sioux City's back. I know. Uh, most basketball. Took a little break and bang right back at it. All right, we'll have these next week and uh, we will see who wins. Yeah, it should be interesting. I forget what the prize is, but I'm sure it's tasteless <laughs> and tacky. Back after a word from Snap Fitness. Looking for added guidance in exercise or nutrition? Personal training is a great investment in your health and well-being. Located at 1711 South Locust Street, Snap Fitness has certified personal trainers that will get you the results you specifically want. Alrighty, we are back with In the Hoop, George A. and Bobby Mills. I'm nursing a cold and sinus infection. And so I'm trying get, to get those pills in there and get that cleared up. Okay, so we got our picks for the girls. The boys... We know most of the field. There's a few games tonight. Of course, the Islanders were beat last night by Burke. They had a nine-point lead. Wow. And uh, in the second quarter, Burke goes on an 11-2 run, ties it at half, and then pulls well, them out in the second half. Took off. Yeah. Nonetheless, still a great year, I think. Great for year for Myasal. His first time out. I, you know, I think the kids played hard. They played well. And, uh, you know, they're going to graduate some, some nice players. Yeah, they are. So he's gonna, you know, he's gonna have his work cut out for him. But I like time. the way he's built it. I think he'll be all right. You know, might not, might take a year, whatever. I like that he pushes the ball, and he and he wants him to play good defense. He pushes the ball, and you know, if they continue to have good three point shooters, you know, that's how Pierce Allman and Tanner Shuck got a lot of good. Sure, they, they did. They pushed the ball and ran to a spot, and they were able to get the ball up. You know. Yep, that was the key. But they did push it, and they yep. weren't afraid. So their season ends at Omaha Burke last night. Uh, Grand Island Northwest, their season ended earlier against Lexington. I I, I thought they would beat Lexington. I thought they would be in the semis. I did, too. Um, now, you were at that game. I was not a freshman. I can't even think of his name. Uh, but, um, just a short name that begins with an S. But this, Salts, maybe, S-A-L-Z, this kid came down and hit three trays in a row. And that was a turning point. They just couldn't recover from that. And... They were going to leave him alone. He only had 16 all year. And that game was at senior high? Yeah, and it was just a toughie. And, it, you know, just one of those things yeah. where... Uh, Interestingly enough, uh, <clears throat> the Vikings finished the season one game under 500. Yep. Which affects Grand Island Central Catholic's points. It does, Congratulations yeah. Congratulations to the Crusaders uh, on their way to state after yep. a, a six-point win over Gothenburg mm -hmm. last night. You were at that ball game, but... Uh, you know, I had Central Catholic in, in, in going to state all year long, but uh, I knew that I know their seeding now is going to be a little different because they lost points because Northwest went from a two to a three. Yeah, but the, I think they're going to get a, a three seed, probably draw Shadron. So, um, and that's a good draw for them. Yeah, it is. Newman will be one. Scotus two. 
I uh, Winnebago's going to go up to two. Are they going to go to two? They jumped on top of Norfolk Catholic twenty to five last night and never looked back. That's I'm glad they made it because everybody's wondering how good they are. Yeah, well, they just and they'll probably play Wahoo. So yeah, yeah. and uh, that would be you know potential set up a semifinal game of Central Catholic and, uh, and Winnebago. <laughs> it's going to be Winnebago has some size too. Oh, they you know? do. But they shoot the ball and run. And, they won't see a team as tall as Gothenburg, though. You yeah. know, that's just a six eight, six seven in high school is pretty tall. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It was a tough. It was a tough battle underneath, and they just gutted it out. Johanna finally figured out how to score on Borkhart, although he only had thirteen. But yeah, well, you got to do it. Yeah, yeah. it was a tough to, one. Uh, Central Catholic, they're getting it done. Uh, of course, uh, Heartland Lutheran. You know, their season ended earlier. Uh, they did get past uh, uh, Gilner. Yep. Which and was their nemesis for so many years, and right. so that you know that's, they're on the way up. I think they really are. And of course, you know Wilcox Hildreth is already in. I yeah, understand. twenty-four and one. Wow, yeah. what a team! Yeah, yeah. So we'll get a chance to see them tonight when Joe Imus and his Riverside boys come in. And when you already have a spot secured, it's kind of a tough. Yeah, and deal. are you working at that game? Yeah, right? it's going to be. Yeah, I'm, those are two good basketball teams and two good coaches. Wilcox Hildreth has not been very good the past few years, and that's kind of nice to see. Yeah, to see them jump that, up. Like that's that. just going to be a great crowd because they're excited. Omaha Central, you know, a dynasty, did not make it to state no, this year. No, they didn't. And it looks like Lincoln High is going to get the uh, Class A wild card. Oh, I hope so. That was uh, oh. Norfolk. You know, they uh, Norfolk has to beat Burke. Yep. To get for them to get the wild card, uh, and you know, Southeast. Upset them in the opening round. I, I was really surprised. In fact, I checked another paper to see if I did score too, was George. Right. Yeah, and Jeff Jeff got them going that game, and boy, can they do it again against Millard West tonight? It's crazy. Good, they and could. I'm glad. I hope Lincoln High gets in. Yeah, they too. I saw them play earlier this year, and uh, yeah, well, you were at that. Yeah, and they're a nice like, team. Yeah, I play hard. I like them a lot. Yeah, I hope they get in. They would be a good addition to the field. Of course, in the Class A, we're also talking about Norfolk could be an undefeated team. Yeah, and I don't know. What do you suppose they think about that? I just don't know if you... Well, they got to be undefeated now. they got to be. <laughs> That's exactly right. You know, in Class B, you know, the interchangeable parts, oh, Gretna, Scott, you know, Waver, they're all... That's a... That really is a toss-up all the way. Yeah. Interesting I, all the way. C1's going to be really good, I think, with Central Catholic, Wahoo Newman, SCOTUS, Wahoo, Winnebago. Yeah. That's really a tough group. Ainsworth is out. How yeah. about that? Yeah. Uh, C2, I think, you know, we're looking at uh, a St. Cecilia team uh, that can come down to the wire with Bergen. Oh, wow. And there's seven Centennial Conference teams in the state tournament. Yeah, yeah. That's and Boys conference. Town got beat by a buzzer beater, so that would have been eight. But Would have been eight, yeah. That's, yeah, St. Cecilia's, boy, they, they have to be the favorite going in. Yeah, I would think so. I and they only so. lost to GICC, and, and then they avenged that. They avenged so. that. Wow. Yeah. So it should be fun. Yeah, it should so be. So we've got two weeks of uh, high school basketball tournaments. We'll check in yeah. next Monday. Talk about the girls' results and uh, get set up for the boys. And uh, so we'll see you then. All right. Bob and Neil, Zach Mayhew, I'm George A. with TheIndependent.com. This has been In The Loop. Fitness On Demand gives SNAP Fitness members 24-7 access to classes in yoga, dance, spinning, kickboxing, and much more. Fitness On Demand gives members a chance to change their workout daily to achieve better results.